guys, what's up? Today we're gonna talk about this holster from Mastac, M-A-S-S-T-A-C. Let's talk about it. All right, so before we really get into this, I have to say Mastac did send me this holster for purposes of making videos and content and stuff and talking about it. So if that goes against your grain of whatever, then throw some salt on it and we'll carry on and move on or whatever. You do what you're gonna do. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion like I always do, regardless, all right? So let's jump into this. Basically, at first looks, this doesn't look like much any different than any other run-of-the-mill Kydex inside the waistband holster, right? Until you really start to look at it. Um, it has two things that I really like about it, and we'll hit those along the way, um, but two things that just kind of set it just a little bit apart, maybe two and a half things that kind of set it a little bit apart than uh, other competing brands out there, we'll say. All right, so what's this thing made of? They're made of Kydex, right? 0.08 thick Kydex, which is nice and thick. Uh, they didn't skimp on that. You can get thinner Kydex and be cheaper and easier to mold and stuff, but then you don't get the rigidity. This thing, this thing has some rigidity to it, okay? Um, it comes with this clip that's on here, which seems to be nice and secure. It's got a good back angle on there where it will grab your uh, your, your belt and actually hold on very well. It comes with this, uh, this wing or, um, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's tons of different names for everything. Basically, this is a tension piece that pushes on the inside of your belt, basically, and pushes the butt of the gun into you. We'll talk about that in a second. It's got some cool features. That's kind of the one and a half or two points that I'm just like, they, they did something cool on here that I haven't seen other people really do. All right, um, the features of this, this has a high sweat guard, and what that really means is that the back of the, or maybe not a high sweat guard, maybe that's a mid sweat guard, this kind of keeps the gun from touching your belly, right? I guess a high sweat guard would go all the way up on the slide. Some of them, some some holsters out there have a low one, just, just cut across the top, or cut across down here. It's not a biggest deal in the world, but for me personally, I find that at least having a mid guard or a high guard, it's gonna keep you from, from pinching yourself whenever you put the gun away. Because sometimes, we have excess body fat, and that can roll over, kind of, can kind of roll over if this wasn't here right if this if this shield wasn't here if it was on this side your belly would kind of want to pull over a little bit into this little area here probably a little tmi but it kind of pulls over and then when you go to put the gun in it can pinch it and it just gets very uncomfortable it's just not very fun so having some kind of a guard back here is a good idea and they did that um as you can notice when i'm putting this gun in it's making a very audible and tactile click that's one of the major features about this that I do like. Because again, there's some companies out there that will have holsters, and they make good holsters, but they don't have that tactile audible feedback click. That's just, it, it's just a peace of mind that yes, I got it in there all the way, and it's not gonna come out unless I want it to. That peace of mind is, is worth its weight in gold to me. Um, there are some, again, there's some holsters out there, holsters that I used to use long, long days ago, I'm not gonna drop their names and stuff, but holsters that I've used a long, 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 long time ago, um, they're, they worked, they're fine, but they don't give that satisfaction and that peace of mind, particularly like leather holsters. There is no click. There's no tactile audible click. You just put the, the gun in the holster, you push it all the way down nice and firm, and that's all you got, right? You can kind of feel around on the trigger guard to make sure that the trigger's actually covered or look at it, but you don't have to do that when it clicks in place because you know for sure it's in there. I, I'm hammering that point a little bit heavy, but I think that's a very good feature about these guys. And that's partially accomplished, I believe, by having a thicker, um, sturdy Kydex. Because those thinner Kydexes, they're just gonna kinda, they're a lot more fluid. They're a lot more fluid. And I don't, I don't like that. I like how this one's set up. Um, another feature that they do have is these are cut for optics. Even some holsters and stuff that I review regularly on the channel, not all of them are cut out for optics. And optic mounted, or pistol, what would you say? Slide mounted optics on pistols are kind of the thing nowadays. Not just the thing, I don't see it going away anytime soon. So forward thinking, making sure that they are going to accept holsters across the board from here on out, that makes sense that they would just go ahead and have an optic cut in here. It's not that hard to do, and I'm glad that they did it. Um, the edges, the, the craftsmanship on here, the edges are nice and smooth. I don't know if they gave me a cherry-picked one. I have no earthly idea, but these are nice and smooth. There's no burrs. There's no, I mean, you're not going to scratch yourself on this or rub yourself on it um, or cut yourself on it. Um, it just, it's very well, very well made, in my opinion, okay? Now, going back to this wedge thing here, it seems like a small thing, 
but I think it, I think it's enough to point out because I think it stands out. A lot of times these are, well, I guess back in the day, this was just a bent piece of Kydex that they kind of bent out. It kind of did the job, it kind of worked, um, but then companies started making more wedges and stuff and some of them are just a single piece that is screwed in and it's done and that's it. Some of them have extension pieces on it so that you can get more or less of a push. Um, they did, people have different companies have different ways of doing it. All right, these guys. Two things specifically about this is the wedge piece that they have. Hopefully, you're going to be able to see this. I don't have my calipers right here. Oh no, I do. I do have my calipers. Um, one side of this, maybe you can tell. One side is longer than the other side, and that means something. That means something. Um, the battery's not working on my calipers, but this guy's sitting right at. That's right, almost like 0.6 inches, right? So a little over half an inch. And then the other side is sitting at, if I can get it to hold still, about seven and a half. He's not gonna hold still, but it's about seven and a half. I know you probably can't see that. But what that means is you have some versatility here to pick from. Maybe you want more or less of a push into your gut to hide the butt of that pistol. We kind of touched on it earlier, but what that does is when this is in your pants, right? It's it's in your it's it hooked up to your belt. This portion of the firearm is generally the hardest portion to conceal. So pushing this in to the contours of your body, that really helps in concealability. And the major way to go about doing that is to add these wedge pieces, right? And like I said, different companies do it different ways. The fact that they gave you the the ability to switch this piece around and basically give you less or switch it around to the long side and give you more um, push that is that's is pretty cool and another piece of this that I have not seen other people do maybe they've done it I've just never noticed it I don't know is if you look on this little wing piece that they have out that the that the uh, whatever you want to call this extra little piece that it attaches to you can see that brass looking insert there a lot of times these wedges wings whatever you want to call them they're attached with the simple, basically a nut and a bolt kind of thing, right? Um, kind of like how they have the tension here. This is fine, this is, this is run of the mill, this is how these things generally work. But on this wing piece, since this is a, like a brass insert, you're gonna have far less chances of stripping it out, in my opinion. It's gonna be a lot more secure, and it's a lot less pieces to come out, to, to, to come apart and to move around on you. Does that make sense? These other pieces down here have, th th these two screws, those are for the, like the tension, right? So they kind of have these big rubber squishy things, for lack of a better term, in there. And you 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 tighten or loosen depending on how much of the retention you want to have. And that kind of helps keep pressure on the bolt in the nut and keep everything where it needs to be, right? Because if you have a little bit of pressure on it, it keeps it locked in. I don't know if that's coming across right or not. Um, but with these guys, I have had these little wings come off and loosen up over time. Even good high quality brands, I've had the screws completely come out and then like I take the holster off and the piece fell out. That wasn't good. That was a high brand company that I use all the time that I really, really, really like. And it just needed some Loctite and stuff, but it didn't have a system like this. I think a system like this is gonna hold up a lot better over time. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy back on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the, the long side facing out to give me more of a push. And basically, you kinda, well you can take the screw, set that in, line it up with the little uh, grommet piece. Screw that in there, nice and snug, and he's in there, and I'm gonna be happy with that. I'm not gonna worry about it. And if I was gonna use this for a long period of time without changing around, because I'm probably gonna change it around and stuff and play with it, um, I'd just throw some Loctite on there and be done with it. All right, guys, so there you go. That's a little look at the Maztec um, holster for the Glock 19. Um, again, I like it. I think it's pretty neat. If you got any questions about it, please do let me know. I appreciate Maztec for sending this thing out. Um, and that's it. Y'all be good to be safe. I appreciate you guys watching and subscribing and everything and hanging around here and supporting the channel. Really do appreciate it. Y'all take care, and hopefully we'll catch you in the next video. See ya.